All right, people, I'm back. This is your boy, Alex. I'm going to give you guys back-to-back -back YouTube videos. Um, this one is going to be a sex game on my reserve channel and on the continuation channel. And then I have a groundbreaking new video that I was going to wait until summertime to drop this video. But because of the circumstances have changed, I decided I'm going to give you guys back-to-back -back YouTube videos. For my fans, my loyal subscribers, my fan base, my newfound audience, thank you. Um, sex Game Part 1 and Part 2 of Sex Game. Sex is like the Animal Kingdom Part 1 and Part 2 were both very good, critical, well-received videos. Part 1 seems like the, the best one. Part 2 did kind of underperform. A lot of people like Part 1 more than they like Part 2. That's not the first time that's happened. I've had videos in the past where part one was better than part two and part three. And I've had some videos also in the past where part three was better than part one and part two. And then I had videos where they just were just about the same. They were good. Not any better. They were good. Just about the same. So thank you. I appreciate the fan support. If it ain't for you people, these good content videos would not be getting made in the first place. So let's go ahead and get into part three, which is going to be pretty much the same title as part one and part two. It's going to be entitled Sex Game. Sex is like the Animal Kingdom. Part three. Yes, I have a script. And I apologize for the helicopter that you hear in the background. Unfortunately, when we do these videos, you will hear the sound of a police helicopter every now and then. Sometimes you'll hear it, sometimes you don't, but they have to do their job, you know, so uh, support, you know, the LAPD doing their job. I know some people don't want me talking about that on camera, but I'm just trying to explain to you that there's a police helicopter that passed by. So if you hear something in the background that distorts, that distorts the sound of the quality, I apologize. When things return back to normal, we will be on film locations where we will change up our film scenery and our location and you will get far better quality than what you get in this video. I promise you by mid to late summer, new camera equipment, new film quality, you know, don't rush, be patient, it will happen. Good things come to those who wait. All right, it's going to be entitled Sex Game. Um, sex is like the Animal Kingdom Part 3. The Signal Mill New Type of Alpha. Now, you've heard this name on YouTube. Somewhere you've heard it in sports, movies, television show. But most of the time you've heard this name and this term on the internet. You've heard it on YouTube. Someone has made videos about it. Now, the Cigna Mail is not as popular and universally recognized as the Alpha Mail. Now, we're going to go back to the math and the science and we're going to go back to the animal kingdom again. We're going to take the same animals that I use in the first and second videos as prime examples. Now, the Cigna male is a new breed of alpha. Everything that the alpha male does, the Cigna male does pretty much the same thing. With maybe two or three or maybe four new qualities that the alpha male doesn't have. The alpha male is perceived as the king of the jungle, the king of the hill. The sigma male is someone that is the king of himself. He is the king of his own self-preservation. He's the king of his own individuality. The sigma male is someone who has his own belief system, his own principle, and how he view things good and bad, right or wrong. That's where the alpha male and the sigma male have a very great understanding. They both have the same belief system in good and bad, right or wrong. Here's where their mentalities clash. The alpha male wants to be the best of the best. Number one, the top dog, the top gun. Um, the sigma male is someone who wants to be the best of the best. Number one, the top gun. But the sigma male wants to do it in a way where it validates him and nobody else. The alpha male believes that in order for you to become alpha male, you need to learn from one. That's most alpha male's point of view. I don't care who you talk to, um, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Most men that become alpha males, whether it's in school, whether it's at work, sports, 
um, they learn from another alpha. The Sigma male learns from the alpha male and then separate itself from the pack. How many times you've seen pictures when you were in high school and college and they showed you pictures of animals and the animal kingdom where they show you a pack of wolves and then they show you another picture where a wolf is by himself. The wolf that is by himself is signified as the Sigma male who ultimately transforms from the Sigma male into an alpha male. They show you a picture of a bunch of tigers. And then they show you a completely separated picture of a tiger by itself. That is the Cygna tiger. So you do have cases where the tiger and the wolf. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize about that. I'm in the backyard. It is still spring break. It's still allergy season, so I apologize. You weren't supposed to see that on camera, but I do apologize. But the point is. The Cygna tiger is by himself. The Cygna wolf is by himself. Every now and then you might see a gorilla, a Cygna gorilla by himself. And when these guys are by themselves, they strive for success. They succeed more. They get more respect. They get more success. Translation, they go out and they kick ass and they take names. They become their own boss. They become their own alpha male. They don't believe in the same principles as everyone else. So when they get their own success, they become more successful when they go by themselves. They get more success. They get more respect. They get more attention. But there is a clash between the Sigma male and the alpha male. Because the alpha male is like the true tradition of the king of the hill. The king of the hill is supposed to rule all, right? If you look in Greek mythology, Zeus is the king of the gods. And notice the title, Zeus, king of the gods. And there are other people in that group that want to be the, the one. In order to become the king, you must challenge the power of the king. And when you lose, you have to fall in line and learn from him. Well, the Sigma male doesn't believe in forever being in the pack. So you get wolves and you get tigers and gorillas that separate themselves from the pack and they either create their own pack or they just end up by themselves now in the animal kingdom that is 100 percent acceptable behavior it is normal for a tiger a gorilla or a wolf to separate themselves from the pack and go on their own it's completely acceptable it's a part of life it's a part of human nature that's to be expected that's what that's what animals do in the animal kingdom and they do transform from a Sigma male into an Alpha male in a period of time. That could be five years. That could be ten. That could be fifteen years later. The Sigma wolf becomes the Alpha wolf. The Sigma tiger becomes the Alpha tiger. The Sigma gorilla becomes the Alpha gorilla. They do transform from Sigma males into Alpha males. In some cases. And then in some cases they just stay Sigma forever. Now, that same behavior does exist in us men when it comes to everything. Sports, money, women, life, being the best of the best, being number one, being the top gun, being number uno, whatever you want to call it. And guess what? It's the same thing. When you look in the world of sports, you see a lot of professional athletes that see themselves alpha males, right? But the whole world universally only recognizes winners as alpha males, you look at Michael Jordan, six-time NBA championship, won six championships, two three-peats, undefeated in the NBA Finals. Michael Jordan is perceived as the ultimate alpha male in professional basketball. He is the golden standard. If you want to win championships, you got to do it the way Michael Jordan won championships. And every now and then when you look in the NBA, you will see some athletes that agree with that principle that agree with that philosophy. And then you'll unfortunately see some athletes who don't believe in that system, who don't follow those principles or those philosophies. You will hear athletes who will be questioned on how they win titles. Like you look at LeBron James, when he did what he did, you know, 12, 13 years ago when that TV show called The Decision, where he basically said, I'm going to Miami. And they were angry and furious at the fact that he chose that approach to win NBA championships. 
most people understood why he did it. It was the way of the Sigma male. It wasn't the Alpha male way. It was the Sigma male, Sigma male way. Now, eventually, LeBron James and eventually became an Alpha male. But at that moment, he was viewed as something else. And LeBron James did not care at that moment. And, it, and he showed you that there are other ways to be successful. And he ain't the only one that done it. Because less than eight years later, Kevin Durant would do the same thing. He would leave the Golden. He would leave the uh, not not Golden State. He would leave Oklahoma City Thunder and turn around and go to the team that beat him and won two championships. Same anger, same outrage. You went to a team that beat you on your way to the NBA Finals, and then you joined the team very next year and you win two NBA championships. That's not the way of the alpha male. That is the way of the sigma male. So you have an in men's behavior. That they strike out on their own to be the best. You see it in the music industry. How many times you've seen a big rap group together for five or ten years? Rich, famous, successful, got all the hot chicks. And then you get two guys who don't see eye to eye. You look at um, you look at New Edition. And you look at how the lead singers clash in that group. Well, both want to be the alpha male, but only one can be the alpha male in the group, right? So he leaves and do what? Become the Sigma male. Well, I'll just become a solo artist. Now, I know people are going to say, well, when you become a solo artist, you don't even get as successful as you was in the group. Sometimes they're able to succeed. Sometimes they fail. You look in rock bands. Happen all the time in rock and roll, heavy metal, alternative rock. You get these big, super mega rock groups like Korn, Saliva, Disturbed, you know, my favorite badass rock bands. And same thing. You get a guy that's the lead singer, and you get a guy that's a backup lead singer, and he goes in his head, I'm just as good or just as great as the lead singer. And the other guys in the pack go, but you're not the alpha male. You're not the top dog. You're not the top gun. You are not number one. You are in the shadow of number one. And that is the number one reason why some of these guys become Cigna alpha males. You know, you heard Cigna male, but then you can take the term and put it together and what do you get? Cigna alpha male. It's a new type of alpha male. The animal kingdom was to break down the math and the science to explain. And now let's bring in money, because I know some people want to say, what about money? Well, let's get into the history of money. The thing with money is an alpha male has one way of making money. A Sigma male might say, well, I know five ways or ten ways to make money. Now here comes the clash between the alpha male and the Sigma male. And the alpha male's way might be better, but the Sigma male goes, my way, I have five ways to make money. When a guy says, I'm going to have my own business, I'm going to become an entrepreneur, that is not the alpha way, that is the Sigma way. Now he might transform from a sigma male into an alpha male sometimes what happens is when the animals leave the animal pack and strike out on their own maybe five ten years later the other tigers will follow that other tiger and that's how that tiger that was once perceived as second best becomes number one sometimes that gorilla has other gorillas follow him that's why i'm saying ultimately the sigma gorilla becomes the alpha gorilla that's how the sigma tiger becomes the alpha tiger that's how the uh wolf that sigma becomes alpha o ultimately the others in the pack will follow the new wolf the new tiger the new gorilla and the alpha will have to be forced to fight this is when you get alpha versus alpha it goes from alpha versus beta to alpha versus sigma and then you get the final one. You get alpha male versus alpha male in the animal kingdom. How do you get two at the same time? One leaves the pack and goes on his own. And then five or ten years later, he becomes the alpha. But it starts with him leaving the group. See, part two, I had to explain that there's one alpha in the pack. And then someone on my reserve channel decided to go for the thumbs down because they think there should be more. See, this video explains what happens when you're not the alpha. So just because I said there's only one alpha male each in every pack, that doesn't mean that's forever. That doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. See, each video I make has to focus on the title of the name of the video. 
Otherwise, if I try to explain the concept of you got to learn from an alpha to be an alpha and then the sigma, you would get confused on two different subjects in one video. So when I make the videos, it's called a follow along. Part one, I give you the boring sub history of education. Part two, I try to give you the best of the best. Part three, I try to make the third video better than the other two videos. So each time I give you a video like this, I try to give you as much information as I can. Same thing with women, because I know some people are going to say, what about the women? Because I know some guys always just want to hear this part of the video, no other part of the video. Well, the reality to that is women follow Cigna males too. There's only two types of men that women fall for, the alpha male and the Cigna male. What's another way of looking at the Cigna male in our today's time period? The bad boy, right? You'll always hear people say, he's the bad boy, he's the player. He has a badass motorcycle. He has a, a black leather jacket. He drives a Harley Davidson motorcycle. He's in a rock band. Well, in today's time period, that is the signal male. The guy who decides to be on his own gets the most respect, the most success, and he actually succeeds when he does it. And what happens when people attack his philosophy, his principles? See, when people attack your principles, is because you're not following the golden standard. And the golden standard is the alpha male. When you stray away from the golden standard and you decide to create your own standard, in our society, because if you're in the animal kingdom, that's acceptable. As a man, they'll say that's antisocial. They'll say he's closed off. He's indifferent. He doesn't seem to follow the golden standard. He doesn't believe in our principles. And it's not that you don't believe in golden standard or principles. It's at some point you want to become your own man, a.k.a. Sigma male. That means ultimately you will transform into the alpha male. But it starts when you leave the group, when you leave the pack. It might take five years, 10, 15 years. I'm talking about at work, at school, in sports. When it comes to money, the alpha says there's only one way to make money. The signal mail says there's five ways, ten ways to make money. Here comes the clash between the alpha and the signal. It's not always alpha male versus beta male. That's television and film. That's fantasy land. In the real world, the alpha male clashes with every animal in the animal kingdom. He clashes with the a beta because the beta wants the power of the title of number one. Because the beta believes if I can get the women, then women see me. And he loses. So when they see the classics, um, the classic fight, young lion versus old lion, they're talking about the older lion is the alpha and the younger lion is the beta. But a lot of times what they don't want to talk about is when it's the alpha versus the sigma. The alpha is intimidated by the sigma because the sigma has just as much power and influence as the alpha. So the alpha looks at the sigma as someone who's challenging him for his championship belt. You look in professional wrestling, right? Now, I know wrestling fake. I know wrestling's entertainment. But guess what? In that storyline, if you're the champion, you don't want no one challenging you for your title on your level, right? And when you get someone that can take the belt from you, they're intimidated. You look in wrestling, boxing, martial arts, basketball, football. You look in all our sports. There's always someone who can contend with the champion. There's someone that has the champion's number, who has an advantage against the champion, a.k.a. Sigma male. The Abeta male is someone who claims that he could become champion. And then when the Abeta male gets this opportunity to become champion, the Abeta male blows the opportunity. A Sigma male, when he's given the opportunity, he does what this refer in the sports. He rises to the occasion. And beats the alpha male. Ric Flair said it best. To be the man, you have to beat the man. A.K.A. Signa male has to beat the alpha male if he wants to be called alpha. The beta male tries to become alpha without the championship belt. It doesn't work. It's not 100% real authentic. You see this in the animal kingdom. And you see this behavior in the music industry and in the world of sports. Even in television and entertainment. How many times you see the actors and the directors clash? The director is the alpha, and the, the, the actor is an alpha himself, but he wants to be the ultimate alpha. You see this in all walks of life, good and bad. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of being the signal male. One of the disadvantages is you're going to be 
you're going to be perceived as antisocial. You're going to be perceived as indifferent. You're going to be perceived as the bad guy because you don't follow the golden standard. And you're going to get people attacking your principles, your philosophies. If you look at Bruce Lee, one of the greatest martial arts fighters of all times, he wasn't Alpha, he was Sigma. Now, he ultimately transformed from a Sigma to an Alpha male. So that's the whole point of this YouTube video. The very next one I'm going to come back in the series is going to be, what if you're Beta and you transform into the Sigma and then you turn into the Alpha? Because there's not one stage to the Alpha male. There's actually three or four stages of the alpha male. And no one on YouTube wants to seem to go into the math and science on that. So I have to. I hope this was a fun, enjoyable video. Until next time, peace.